you may have heard we're in the middle of what's known in the travel industry as the wave season. Think of it as a cruise industry flash sale for three months and for a look at the values out there right now and the newest brand new things that are entering the cruising world and also Virgin, they have a big one right now. We're going to go live right now to Miami and travels with senior editor Gabe Saglier. Hello Gabe, how are you? Well, I can't complain. It's uh, 84 and sunny here at the Port of Miami. How are uh, you doing? Uh, I'm very jealous of you right now, and I want to be in your place. That's how I'm doing. Looks amazing. Yeah. So listen, I'm going to start off right away because I was reading about your latest survey, which is the Americans' appetite for cruising. Can you just talk about that? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we surveyed our Travel Zoo members. 40% of them tell us that they are seriously considering a cruise in either 2023 or 2024. Now, when we did the same survey a year ago, that number was closer to 19 to 20. So in just a year, we have definitely seen the appetite for cruising and for people considering taking their next cruise balloon. Uh, and I think the, the further we move away from the pandemic, those numbers will continue to go uh, up. Absolutely. And, you know, can you talk to us, too, about wave season and just tell our viewers, you know, what is wave season exactly and what should people be looking for during the wave season? Well, so you want to be looking for the best cruise sales of the year. And this happens every year. It's uh, historically every January, February, March, right? The first quarter of any year is when the cruise industry as a whole, all the cruise brands get together and they basically pump out their best sales of the year. And it's not only about those really sort of eyebrow raising price points, uh, but it's about incentives like those double upgrades or maybe uh, gratuity packages and drinks packages, etc. cetera. Uh, Virgin Voyages, and this is the beautiful Scarlet Lady, by the way, who dropped anchor just a couple of hours ago after her latest Caribbean adventure. They've got a, uh, an incentive. It's 55% off your companion fare, which means that if two of you, say, take a Miami a cruise out of Miami for, say, four nights, you're looking at about six sixty-five per person, and that includes gratuities and up to $600 in uh, bar tab uh, based on the length of your cruise. So, again, if you're on the fence, I think a lot of the promotions and incentives you're going to be seeing uh, right now through the end of March are going to uh, incentivize you to really think about your next cruise very seriously. Yeah, and let's talk about the, the Virgin brand because it's so famous across obviously several industries and now cruising. So can you talk to us about that a little bit? Yeah, listen, a brand synonymous with sort of a sex appeal and a, and a joie de vivre, if you will. Uh, the latest entry to the cruise space, they started sailing in October of 2021. So Virgin of Voyages, this is their Scarlet Lady. Uh, the sister ship, the Valiant Lady, is currently out in the Caribbean. Uh, but uh, the Scarlet Lady uh, dropped anchor just a couple of hours ago. A couple of trends, because these guys really sort of represent what's fresh and new in the cruise industry. Uh, more focus on bespoke destinations. Every sailing includes a stop here. This is a private beach club on the island of Bimini in the Bahamas. So this is your own private four and a half acre oasis. You get there early in the morning. You're there till late at night. You can swim with stingrays during the day. Maybe go shipwreck diving. Maybe take a walking tour into town to learn about the culture and heritage of this very exotic part of the world. Uh, but again, it's focused on sort of, sort of more bespoke destinations. Uh, it also stops in the Dominican Republic and Honduras and the Riviera Maya. Definitely an up and coming trend. Secondly, wellness. Uh, yeah. The spa on board. Uh, you know, they've got a mud room. They've got a salt room. They've got all kinds of uh, specialized treatments, meditation classes, yoga classes. If breaking out of your comfort zone is wellness to you, Audrey, they've even got a tattoo parlor uh, on, on board uh, the ship. And then the third trend, uh, which I think is the most exciting, is dining. You know, long gone are these, you know, I've got to stand in a buffet line to eat when I'm on a ship. Um, more than 20 uh, options to dine here. They're each uh, themed. Uh, they're each specially curated and in some cases inspired by Michelin-starred chefs. Maybe it's a Mexican restaurant one day, vegetarian, steak and seafood. They've got a place called the Test Kitchen where you can uh, take mixology classes or cooking classes or learn about different roasted coffees. Uh, but again, it's all about making that, that sort of quintessential cruising experience more personalized, more high touch and sexier at the end of the day. Well, Gabe, thank you so much. I was actually searching cruises just yesterday, so now I'm going to get back to it as well. But always good chatting with you. Thank you so much. I found you one. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be there in a four it. hours. <laughs> uh, always great having Gabe on. He always knows so much that's going on in the travel industry. But